In today's LEGO building tips we're taking a look at LEGO friend sets that LEGO kindly sent to me for review. We can take a lot of inspiration from them. And here we have the forest waterfall. There's this very interesting pine tree kind of build using this very weird green element that it's just perfect for the effect here. You make a bunch of these and you have yourself a nice little forest. Now, this is just genius. A three-piece campfire. Can't beat that. No, can't beat that. Really clever. Next up, we're taking a look at Art Lake City School. Lots of small builds here, so let's just start with this one. A very obvious one for schools, I would say. A basketball hoop. Now, you might not have, like, the sticker that I'm showing here in the couple of pieces, but I think you don't really need it. I think if you just use, like, a standard panel like I'm using here, or two 1x4 bricks without any printing on them, it will still look great as a basketball hoop. Next up, a very smart sandwich build. If you need a restaurant or if you need some sandwiches everywhere in your LEGO cities, for instance, this build is actually really smart. You can change the pieces that you use inside the sandwich and you have yourself a nice variety of different sandwiches, which is really, really cool. Toilets. Lego toilets. Yes, we always need them. And this one is particularly genius, I would say. First off, we start with this build here with the Technic bricks that apparently doesn't make too much sense in a toilet build. But then you can see that the pin is over there and then you place one of the one by one Technic beams and voila, the toilet paper. <laughs> I really like this one. Next up, a microscope. Of course you need microscopes in schools and this one, like five pieces, is just genius. You will hear me say genius a lot because I was surprised. LEGO friend sets actually have a lot of genius builds. The next set we're taking a look at is the surfer beach front. Also lots of small builds including this one. You start placing some pieces that uh, don't make much sense, I would say, Minif minifig head over there. And then one of these pieces used to display minifigures at angles and cool angles and voila, it's so good. Ice creams. We always need ice creams, like big ice creams for ice cream storefronts and stuff like that for our LEGO cities. And this one is using like a very interesting, somewhat rare element for the toppings over there, but all of the other elements seem fairly common, so you could probably build some ice creams like this one, or at least similar. Now a very simple speaker, of course you can change the colors to an all black design, but this was what the set had, you know, a dish on a 1x2 Technic brick, and done. Also, it's always good when you start with bricks for a build, and this one is like a DJ turntable of sorts, of course if you have a 2x2 printed tile with a disc on it or something like that, it would be perfect, but even so, it still works great in my opinion, and worth the spot. Now here, if you don't like pink colors, that's completely fine, you can change this to other colors, obviously, but this type of couch slash stool slash, I don't really know how to call this, let's call it couch, even though it doesn't have a back, this against the wall on a Lego house looks amazing, and obviously you can change the colors. Oh, for this one, I don't even know its English name, so let me <laughs> look Google for a bit. Oh yes, a watering can. This watering can is just perfect. Four pieces, some of them are a bit uncommon, but look at this. It's pretty perfect and at a very good scale too for minifigures. Now we're taking a look at the Magical Funfair Stalls. This build is pretty perfect. Magic! <laughs> this is just genius! Again, genius, genius build! Well done from friends LEGO designers! Look at this, such a simple mechanism and yet the effect looks so good. And the mini doll is held in place by the hand. I mean, wow! I would love to know who the designer for this one was. Really good job! Now if you go to a fair there's usually like the gates to enter like the rides and stuff and this one is a pretty neat build that you can use for that occasion, maybe, I don't know, airports or the cinema. Pretty simple build but I think it works great and does the job perfectly. And here we can see the build in place, looks great by the way. Now we're taking a look at the Forest Horseback Riding Center. Neat little farm inspired builds and we start with a simple tree. It's a very similar technique to the one that we featured already in this video but slightly different and a way that shows you how to use two of these weird green pieces to a great effect, in my opinion of course. 
Now this build is like a must have in every farm inspired build, a haystack. And I really love how simple it is, it just uses these modified 1x2 bricks and some plates and the different textures make this look really really nice. Now the classic lamp build using some clips and then a dish, a transparent minifig head, a place down there, you turn it down, oops, sorry about that, and there you go. This is another style for one of those couches that you lean against a wall on a building or a house or something and it looks really really cool. Of course you may not be such a big fan of the colors used here but I still think that the design is like spot on. This is used next to a window so it's pretty much perfect. Now sleeping bags. Three pieces for a sleeping bag, 1x2 plate, 2x2 slope and then a 2x4 tile in the teal color which I love so bonus points for that for the designer. And finally the last set that we're looking at is the Art Lake City Grand Hotel. Lots of builds here to get inspiration from and we start with this simple fountain build, making very good use of this fairly recent element, but the rest of the pieces used are fairly common, so you should have no problems in trying to do like a similar fountain yourself, even if you don't have like the bottom white pieces, maybe you could just use like regular bricks, which is okay. <music> I really like this one, I'll be honest. First, we are using inch pieces as the wheels for this hotel luggage trolley build, which is like so good. I really like when Lego pieces are used outside of their usual context, so this is just perfect. Inch pieces as wheels, brilliant. And also the build itself is quite useful. If you're hoping to make a Lego hotel for your Lego cities, for instance, I might have to copy this myself if I am to do a Lego hotel in my Lego city that is nowhere to be seen. Sorry about that, but it might be coming back soon. So stay tuned for that and I don't know, maybe subscribe so you don't miss it out. Another different style of sandwich. It isn't using like the super fancy pieces I showed before, but one by two plate, one by two tile, some stuff inside and it works great. Now this one is probably my favorite of them all. Three pieces for a classic telephone, like a classic dial telephone, <laughs> just perfect. Now if you're speaking hotel, you'll obviously need some beds and this design is pretty straightforward and simple, but nice nonetheless and I thought that it would be a good idea to highlight it. It's using some very interesting piece choices around the pillow area, so I really like that. And also for the sheets, using just a big old 2x4 curved slope works really really great. fireplaces. This is the type of build that I've previously featured on my channel. I've made tutorials of fireplaces and this one is like really nice because it uses very little pieces so you could probably do this or something similar. If you don't have the flame pieces over there you can just use like transparent orange sheet slopes which is fine and there's also this detailed piece over here in light bluish gray that I didn't knew it existed and yeah pretty simple build. You have to place this against the wall so it does make sense but I don't know you you guys tell me, do you like this build or not? Let me know in the comments. Toilets, once again, this one is pretty simple and as simple as it gets for Lego toilets, but always useful, so here's another style that you could probably do yourself. Final build is this weird shaped piano. I can't really tell if this is a grand piano or if this is a wall piano. Nonetheless, it looks really, really nice and we all can take inspiration from it. I've done like piano tutorials before here on the channel. So I will admit that this one is rather nice and it's using very interesting piece choices for the details. For the keyboard, I decided not to place the sticker included in the set, but if you have like printed tiles with keyboards on your collection, it would work great. Over here we are using a hinge and then a 2x2 tile for the sheet music, so that's also something that you can adapt to whatever you have in your collection. And down here the feet of the piano and the pedals using this teeth piece, nicely done. This was a long video but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless and do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these types of videos where I will highlight mini builds from LEGO sets. Don't forget to drop a like if you liked the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.